the time has come. The hunt is one week away from right now. So that's pretty crazy. I got all the stuff, camping gear and my food loaded up. And I'm gonna take it in just to secure my camping spot. There's already one hunter up here, it looks like, but that's all right. It is what it is, public land. Gonna hike all the way up in here, get everything set up and then glass just for tonight. It's Sunday, August 14th. So I just wanted to get my camp up, get all my food up. And the crappy part about this spot is, is I'm gonna actually have to take in a whole bunch of water this whole week. So we'll have to go make probably like two more trips in before the hunt with a whole bunch of water just so we can eat all the peak refuel meals and all the stuff that I need water for. So let's go do that and get to it. I hate this hike, it sucks every time. I'm really hoping it's worth it. I'm hoping all this work I've been putting in this year, physically in the gym and mentally out here. <laughs> so hopefully we can get lucky and get us a big high country muley. But if not, we're just gonna keep putting work in and eventually I think we'll get it done this year. try to clean this out clean the side hill out a little bit and then this is the ridge that I hike every day to go glass so it should be an awesome little spot right here it's obviously windy but and, and the ridge isn't the best place to camp that's why I kind of just dropped off it a little ways just in case because I think it's supposed to be pretty bad weather for the opener and I don't want not want to get caught up on this ridge during a crazy thunderstorm this exo likes to carry stuff pretty well I'm not gonna lie Got some water, good old spot and scope. Put this stuff to the side, and then I'll get my tent and let's set it up. Got this bad boy set up. Got some of the meals that I'm gonna be eating. They're all peak, I freaking love peak. And then I actually have a lot of built Bars, some oatmeal for breakfasts, and then just some crackers. And then I'm using a lot of these freaking honey stingers. They are super delicious and just good carbs and good everything. First glassing point has paid off big time. Like I said, it's a week before the hunt. I just kind of wanted to get in here and glass a few of these basins just before the hunt, try, try to get a little bit different of a feel for it. And first glassing point, I've glassed up, I think eight bucks and two of them are studs. One of them I'd for sure shoot, just a super big framey four point. And then another one's just a little four, that has super good genetics and pretty deep forks for how small he is. And then just a lot of other little stuff, little fours and two points and three points and crap. Like I said, this is my first glassing point. Normally I glass right on the back side of this ridge. What's going on everybody? It's been three days since I was up here. And as you can tell, I made it to the top once again. My freaking pack is full of water. I just wanted to bring in a lot of water up here just because where I'm camped is up on this ridge and down on the bottom of this basin is where all the water is and I really ain't about to go back and forth just for water. It'll really screw up my hunting too, just so I bump all the deer down in the basin. We should be set for water. I'm gonna bring more water up on maybe tomorrow night, Thursday, and then the hunt starts on a Saturday. So it's getting here. It's August 17th, I think, and crazy three days away and I'll be able to hunt these big old deer I've been watching. Good old. Bad weather is working its way in here, so that sucks, but I'm gonna show you how I stack the water. As you can tell, there's a whole bunch. <laughs> now, I think we're just gonna get some water, drink it, and then start glassing the glass points before it starts raining, because it looks like it might be not great. So let's go find us some big deer. As you can tell, it's been a few days since I last updated y'all. It is time to go kill big old buck. I'm so freaking pumped. Super thankful that I drew a deer tag. I just cannot wait to get up to my camp, set my old bow back. I got a whole bunch of clothes, monster energy, cause I'm gonna need a lot of that. Some extra food. Now hopefully we can have a fun, safe, 
awesome bow hunt and hopefully be successful. We made it to camp. Now, to take all this crap off and probably go glass because it's pretty dang chilly up in the high country right now. Big storms blowing in tonight and tomorrow. So hopefully it gets these big deer up if there's a storm break tomorrow and then Sunday and then for however long I'm up here until I kill deer. Been working my butt off this year, bringing up tents, water, food, everything I need. And with all the scouting I've done up here, I think I have a good chance knowing where to find the deer, but it's gonna be pretty hard killing them just cause it's super cliffy and hunting solo. It's a lot harder than having someone glass for you and make you go into the stock. But other than that, I cannot wait. Now let's get everything situated at the old tent and get everything ready and go glass for middle of the day and then come back, eat, and then glass the evening. Got everything loaded up for the evening's glass. Now I got a big old mess in here with clothes, food, freaking toothbrush, cooker, everything. Look at these bad boys, I'm freaking pumped about that. I wanted to take a minute and talk about this bracelet right here. Be like Birch. That bracelet means a lot more to me than just a bracelet. This last year in March, my buddy ended up taking his life and me and him used to hunt so much. He was my, he was my brother, you know, but he was my best friend. I'm gonna dedicate this high country hunt to him because unfortunately he's not up here with me and normally we hunt together a lot up in the high country. RIP Birch, hopefully you're killing it up there, but I'm gonna kill you a giant deer. And that is why I put the bracelet on, because just to remind me of who I am and what I need to be, and I need to be like Birch because he was an amazing person. Awesome friend, awesome brother, everything. So just thought I'd take a moment. Maybe you guys saw it and was wondering what that meant. So now you know, but I'm gonna dedicate this hunt to him. So now I gotta kill a giant buck for him and I. Been here for about an hour and a half and I'm just kinda glassing just to see if I can find any bucks bedded. And I found two bucks, one decent three by four that I got seven yards from scouting earlier this year. And then a little three point back forked. Just like what I thought, a freaking giant rainstorm and thunderstorm is coming my way. I'm really hoping I'm gonna make it through and not get struck by lightning. I'm camped about 30 feet off the ridge, so. As you can tell, it's coming down. Thank the Lord for the tent. Well, I wanted to take a second and tell you guys about the two guys I met up here. So I'm not alone up here on this hunt. They're just camped up the ridge from me a little ways. And they're two super awesome guys. So the one actually broke his bow on the way up here, which sucks really bad. And then the other one, um, he's gonna hunt. So they're staying till Monday. I'm staying a little longer. So I might help them out and see if I can't glass them up a good buck just to shoot. And then we'll help each other out. If I glass one, they said they can come help me stock it. So I just love meeting super solid guys up here. So I just got done glassing with my two new hunting buddies. They're super awesome good guys, but we ended up seeing the little wide three point again, and then a little three point. One of the guys are actually wanting to shoot it, so I think we have a pretty good idea of where he is. I'm gonna bed tonight, and then tomorrow morning, hopefully we can get him in the bed. Good morning, everyone. It's opening day, I'm super excited. I'm gonna get up on this ridge and then glass this front side and then go up to where my two buddies are, where they're glassing, and then see what we can find. I'm hoping for a good one, but if not, hopefully we can at least find that good three by two and have that guy put a stock on him and get him down. So let's get to it and put some gators on. It was raining all freaking night, leaked in here a little bit. Good thing I brought an extra tarp, cover it up. Let's get to it, I'm super excited. Let's go kill some deer.
Made it up here to my first glass point, and it is freaking windy. But I think I have a good chance right here just because I've seen quite a few bucks right off these cliffs feeding back and forth. And I'm really hoping the wind's just up on this ridge, not down in there, so I can find a bedded. It wasn't the most eventful opening morning. I did see quite a few bucks. Saw a little four point, two point, and then another little three point, and then a few does and stuff I couldn't tell for bucks, but nothing big, but it's all right. I think a huge rainstorm is gonna come in, so I think I probably better head out of here, go back to the tent, get some breakfast, and then relax for a while and just hope the storm blows over and then go glass during the middle of the day and see if I can't find any bucks, just moving beds and all that cool stuff. Eventually we'll get on a big buck, I'm sure. It's just gonna take a lot of patience in this country. We're fogged in. <laughs> kind of cool though, not gonna lie. But a lot of rain. Decided to show you guys where I hunt. See? Normally I can't do that. Now the fog rolled in, I can. It's gonna be a long day just sitting, waiting out the fog, waiting out the storm. Hopefully you guys are having a killer opening morning. I had an all right one, at least we found some bucks. Just nothing big. The storm passed by finally, and the fog lifted, and now we're just starting to glass once again. I think it's only 1 p.m., but I figured maybe a few of these bucks are gonna switch beds and all that stuff, so figured I'd come and glass for probably all the way until I either get rained out again or it gets dark. I'm getting fogged out. Jeez, I figured I would. Glad I found something. Now we gotta go back to camp and wait it out. Pretty amazing up on the mountain right now during fog. Pretty badass. I'm up here glassing. He's glassing over there too, and Judd just head down off this big mountain, putting a stalk on this pretty badass two by three. So hopefully he can get it done, but it's quite a ways. It's gonna get dark in about two hours. Should be plenty of time, but hopefully he gets it done. Well, today was a pretty awesome day. My new buddy, Judd, put an awesome stock on a buck. Almost got it done at last light today, as you can see in the video, but no luck on me getting a stock, but I don't really care. I just love watching people almost have success. He was super close. I saw about eight bucks. Um, a lot of the same bucks just over, so tomorrow is gonna be an awesome day. We'll catch you bright and early in the morning and hopefully tomorrow goes a little bit better. Good morning everyone. Day number two of my archery hunt and we just got to the first glassing point. It's gonna be an absolute beautiful day. Sunrise is so amazing and freaking, that honestly is one of the best parts of hunting in the high country is the sunrise and sunset. Start glassing this big basin where I saw this little four point yesterday. So hopefully the bigger bucks have moved in here. The morning glass wasn't too eventful. Saw three bucks, two tiny two points, and then a super tiny four point. Nothing that I'm looking for. So now I'm gonna head on this ridge quite a ways and glass the stuff that I was glassing before the storm came in last night, just to kind of get a new little basin. And then there's also some super good bedding right up on this ridge I'm gonna kind of creep through. Well, that was super fun. So when I last talked to you, I wanted to get to this ridge so I could glass this other little basin. And while I was doing that, I was sneaking through these trees that I knew was very good bedding. 
and I looked over and saw Betta Doe. And I thought she saw me, but I guess she didn't, because she just kept snoozing. A little buck got out of its bed, probably 65 yards from me, and started feeding right to me. I sat there for about two and a half hours, two hours, just hoping there's another bigger buck in that group, because I recognize the little buck, and normally he's with a giant four point. So I was really, really hoping that the big one was with him, but it wasn't. It's was just a doe and a little two by three. Kind of started going down off these cliffs because I tried getting around him. It was literally perfect. I've been sitting here for a while. It was perfect, but no bueno, no big buck. So now we're gonna head back to camp, get some to eat, take a good little nap. Yeah, it's 1040, so I've been sitting here for about two and a half hours. Just waiting for a big buck to feed out if if there was one and there wasn't so it's was fun i gotta knock the arrow i gotta put the gopro on it's getting exciting there for a minute but oh well it was a pretty awesome morning and then we got tonight to glass hopefully find a big buck for the morning well i just got to the glassing point and i've already glassed up two bucks and the one two by three is the one judd put a stock on last night and he is in a perfect freaking spot to stalk right now. But they're back at their camp, which is a little ways away. But I think they should be here because normally they come here around 5. But I tried calling them, tried everything, and I think they're just out of service. So well, I'm hunkered down. It's going to start pouring once again. Gosh, it's been a pretty crappy opening weekend. But it's all right. I just really want to keep tabs on this deer just in case Judd ends up coming after the little rainstorm. It was a pretty awesome night once again. Uh, Judd and Jeff ended up coming over. Judd ended up wanting to pass the buck because he's just he had to hike down and get a lot of water Which this is a gnarly freaking like 1200 Vertical drop to get water and then back up a lot of weight and he's he actually has a broken back right now It's not all the way healed so I don't blame him one bit and it's just not too big a buck that I'd want to take so I just gave her the pass now we're back in the tent because it started freaking pouring on us lightning horrible I just want to get back before it gets really bad, so now we're just going to cook us up some pea. I'll let you guys know how this one tastes. So far, I've had a few of them, and they're they're decent, you know. They're all right. They're a lot better than Mountain House, I'm not going to lie. So, let's get that cooked up. It's been a little bit more of an exciting day, a lot more action. Saw about 10 bucks again today, a lot of the same deer as yesterday. Eventually, the newer bucks will come in, and hopefully we'll get a shot at a big one. Good morning, it's day three of my hunt. Let's see if we can make it happen this morning though. That'd be super awesome. But let's head to the glassing. Let's get it, hopefully we find a good one. Putting a stalk on a freaking giant deer. And I still got a little ways to go. Be able to cut them off through this flat. So, wish me luck. The giant bug slipped. I have no idea where it is. That's the crappy part about hunting. So, that really sucks. I really think I could have killed that big ass four point. But the freaking sun was coming up, and I there's no way I could get to right here where I am, other than how I did and go all the way around, drop over, and I just I did it. And these deer are here. So, wind was pretty crappy too. I hope I didn't blow them out, because if I did, I doubt I see them in the next few days at least. It was a super exciting morning. As you can tell, we saw a lot of really big deer. And then Judd, I don't think he got a shot. I don't know if the wind switch or something, but the bucks ended up running. Time to climb about 1,200 feet elevation. This hike never, never is fun. Super exciting weekend, but that's just how fast things can change. The last two days we haven't been seeing nothing but dinks, and then this morning, nothing but just big deer. I mean, it was raining all night last night, and them deer just dropped in the basin from somewhere, came up through the pines, and we're just there. It's pretty crazy how fast things can change like that. Try to kill a giant and then just come back up Thursday or Friday and then hunt the weekend and then got to go back to work so got the bow strapped up now climb up to camp made it back to camp 
And I'm just going through my food, and obviously I don't have too much. I'm gonna eat this in a minute. So I'm probably gonna have to head down either tomorrow or Wednesday, go get some food, go get some water, resituate, maybe go sleep in my house and just relax for a while. And then I might gotta go to work for Thursday. I'll have to see my boss and then come up, come back up Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But we will see. Thought I'd give you an update. I think it's supposed to storm. It's not looking like it is. I'm gonna eat, take a nap, and then back to glassing. Woke up from a freaking killer nap. These high country naps. I swear they're the best naps in the world. Now, we get everything loaded and head to the ridge and glass. I have a good feeling, I think we're gonna glass up. Hopefully one of the big deer. Let's see if we can't find it, I guess. Oh, I'm back up in these trees, hiding from another freaking random rainstorm. I'll tell you what, this high country is freaking gnarly like that. It's just all of a sudden, boom, rain. But I actually glassed up the big four point I put a stock on this morning. He had a nice four point as a buddy. I glassed them up bedded quite a bit higher and up in some cliffs. So it wasn't a bust. I just brought my spotting scope under these big old trees hiding from the rain and I glassed them up. That's awesome. Hopefully the big boy's pretty close and I can glass them up for the evening. And then I think the morning, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave them for the evening. And then hopefully they feed towards this way for the morning hunt. Good night, everyone. Day number three was most exciting day of them all. Super excited for tomorrow morning. I'm hoping all those big deer are back in the basin. I had to come back pretty early just because of all the rain and everything, but I ended up glassing the four point, like I said, that was with the big one. So that means they're still in the area, but I think I did actually spook them when I put the stock on this morning. So that sucks. They're probably gonna be more on alert than normal, but oh well, it's how big deer in freaking high country are. They're already super on alert. So we're gonna get some sleep and wish me luck for tomorrow. Hopefully I can get it done and hopefully I can just find some big deer. Good morning everyone. It was a freaking sleepless night. I had mice crawling everywhere, annoying the crap out of me right by my head. So that sucks, but uh, oh well. Really tired today. Still gonna get after it. Hoping for just one chance at a big deer. Let's head up and glass. Like normal, nothing's new. Just glass, glass, glass. take long and I found the freaking giant typical from yesterday. I can't believe I found him because I thought I spooked him yesterday but he's in the exact same spot. So this time I'm gonna watch him bed. Hopefully he doesn't feed down towards the pines. If he does he's gonna be gone but I still have quite a while up here so I'm just gonna be patient. Hopefully it works out. I'm still watching him feed. The little buck is feeding to a spot I don't really want him to and then the big four I call him Biggie Smalls. He's kind of headed up. It's going to be a hard stalk if he beds there, but it's a lot more open, so I'll be able to actually watch him stalk or watch him bed. So that's the best option. But the little buck is just going straight down, which goes to these gnarly group of pines that there's no way I can put a stalk on. The sun's coming up right now, which makes it decent, but the wind will be switching. Or I would have already made a play right now. It's just, I learned yesterday once the sun comes up. The freaking sun glare and everything is just horrible. That's what screwed me yesterday is the sun and then the thermals changed and the wind started going kind of close to this big buck so I just backed out. Super happy I found him though. If I don't make a play on him today I'll be patient and wait for the next few days and hopefully he comes back and just beds in a good spot. Well they did exactly what I didn't want them to do and drop down into pines that is unstockable. No point to go in there and just blow them out of there. So now we're just gonna keep glass in the basin for another little while and then I gotta head down and charge some batteries and then I'm coming back up tomorrow morning super early. It's been an awesome morning though. Glad I found old Biggie Smalls. I name him Biggie Smalls because he has giant backs so Biggie and then just small fronts so Biggie Smalls. Fits him perfectly other part of the basin that I haven't even glassed all morning just because I've been watching them. Never forget to grab all your trash. I just wanted to say that because there's so many people that litter. Just quit being a lazy piece of crap and just freaking take your trash out. We're headed off the mountain. Gonna go take a good nap. Probably glass lower stuff tonight and maybe put a stock on up some pretty big bucks that are in the low country. And then we're headed back up super early in the morning. 
and doing this all over again till Sunday here. Hopefully I keel sooner than that because I'm tired. <laughs> Let's head down this ridge a long freaking ways, head back to the Wheeler about four miles away and then head out. So I'll catch you guys either tomorrow early in the morning or if I end up putting some stalks on some deer. So about made it back to camp. Like I said, I went all the way down and I was thinking about staying down there tonight. I just can't not know if this big deer I'm trying to kill is gonna be in the basin tonight. So I ended up hiking up, have a whole bunch of water and food. Got the old bow, kind of sneaking in because normally during the hunt, I always jump a few bucks off this ridge and some of them are freaking giant. Yeah, like I said, we, we're heading in. <sighs> Been only like four hours since I made this hike, so pretty tired. But either way, we're gonna get to camp, unload my freaking heavy backpack and then go glass for the night. And there's a sage chicken. Could kill it and eat it, but oh well, let's get to camp. was just super bad. It was going pretty straight towards him and then going down the canyon. And luckily he's on the other side of the drainage. But he was feeding straight to me. Wind is still going down. I just hope I don't spook him. I headed out of there. I got 120 yards. I, the wind's just horrible and I just couldn't get any closer. So he's probably going to bed in here if he doesn't spook from my wind. Time to head back to camp. Hopefully we can find him tomorrow morning and put a play on it. This one's actually really good. It's just by Camp Chef. I'm eating the Camp Chef and Camp Chef and Peak, but just made it back to camp. Now time to sleep once again, and then wake up early. It's just a non-stop grind up here, especially solo. It's really mentally hard. I don't think I did. I think I got out of there in enough time. So I'm gonna go straight to my first glassing point. I think I'm just gonna skip the one I normally glass first, just in case, because I already know there's a big deer over in this basin. So I'm gonna go there straight, and then just start glassing away, and hopefully we find him. So I'll catch you guys bright and early in the morning. Probably another sleepless night. 9, 10, so 14, 15 hour days. I need a nap. But all right, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Day number six, up on the mountain doing the same thing day in day out oh. last night I didn't get any sleep because there's a freaking helicopter literally 10 feet above my tent for about an hour there's literally been a helicopter flying right above me for the past freaking hour and I'm so confused on why it's creeping the hell out of me just listen very creepy but I think it was just the military just training or something so now we're headed into the sunrise once again to go glass up Biggie Smalls and put him down put one final stalk on him 
I put two stocks on them already. Gave me the slip and just things didn't work out. So today's the day. I have a feeling we're gonna get him down. I found him once again. And this time he's with three other bucks. And they're, I think they're gonna bed in a pretty damn good spot. I just hope they don't keep feeding or I'm gonna lose them in these trees. So hopefully they keep feeding up if that's the case. I'm gonna hurry and go right here and I know where I can get a shot right now. It'll be kind of a cliffy shot, but I bet I could get it done if I just creeped over there. I just don't wanna lose them. All right, I'm making my move. I'm gonna follow this backside of the ridge, jump up, go in this good bedding, and hopefully they feed right in front of me. Let's get it. Let's kill this freaking deer. The wind keeps freaking screwing me over. They didn't blow, I just have shit wind, so I don't wanna go in there and scare them out of the country forever. I guess we'll head back up to my pack, try to relocate them, because I lost them. I thought I was gonna come right by them, but the wind was kinda going down towards them, and I think they beat me. I just wanted to take it slow, so. No good, once again. Third try on this freaking buck. Jeez, mentally annoying. I just hope they didn't get busted out. I haven't heard them or seen them, so I think they ended up feeding right around this corner into the pines and bedding, so. So the bucks are feeding up this, and then right to the edge of these trees, it goes into a little bowl. I guarantee you they're right in that bowl, either bedded or something, in the wind. Is in a pretty solid spot for me to go do that, so I'm gonna head back up to the top of this and then go very very slowly because they might be bedded up on top of this it's super good bedding so i'm gonna go super slow slow and then keep checking the wind and hopefully the wind's still going this way i've been napping and just relaxing it's one o'clock and i got some pretty awesome news so my buddy tagan he's headed up to help me kill this deer because it'd be so much easier to get guided in and everything just to hopefully get dialed and kill the buck and then hopefully we can get him an awesome deer. So he's headed up to camp. I'm gonna have to move my food probably out right here and then get everything situated so he can put his sleeping bag right here tonight. And he's running everything else up tonight and then he's gotta work tomorrow, head up, head back up tomorrow night and then stay till Sunday with me. So super happy, super thankful for him. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully we can get a big deer down now. I think this will help a lot, but who knows, maybe we'll get done kill him tonight or in the morning before he gets here but who knows we'll just see how it goes my buddy tagan ended up coming up dropping off a lot of his stuff so you'll probably see him in the next few videos of the next few days i've been glassing for about two and a half hours i've been glassing since 3 30 and it's seven so longer than that I haven't seen one deer in this basin so i'm really hoping i didn't spook him out on the morning stalk but kind of looking like it but also these deer like to do like a four day loop it seems like I see them in here every like three to four days and the buck was in here for three days gave me three stalks and now he's headed out for who knows how long until he'll be back so just praying that he'll be back soon or another good buck will be and hopefully we can just get one down getting really tired as you can tell my freaking eyes want to just be closed and want to be sleeping and I want to be sleeping too but I just gotta keep glassing. I gotta just keep being persistent, patient, and hopefully I get the best result in the end. But either way, I'm learning a lot. I've learned a crazy amount about big old deer this year. Across the draw, and then you guys should follow me on Instagram, Big Time Crit, for a lot of the live updates so you guys don't see it so late in the season. But. I just glassed up two tiny deer, a little four point, a little two point, but it's better than anything. And I'm freaking freezing, so I'm headed back to camp. 
Day number seven. Boy, am I tired. It's starting to catch up with me. Freaking waking up, hiking every day. I'm just really hoping we can make it happen soon. I'm really tired. <laughs> Mentally, and it, I'm just super exhausted, but it's all right. Only ended up glassing up one tiny spike and about 25 head of elk and a few little bulls. Just nothing I'm looking for, so I'm gonna actually hit this ridge and kind of still hunt this bedding area up on the top. When I got close to this little dink a few days ago, I just feel like there could be a big buck right there. So I'll kind of sneak through and then I'll go glass off this backside. And then I'll probably head back and take a nap because I got a freaking migraine. Glassing through binos and spawn scopes for seven days straight freaking hurts. My eyes are dead, but let's go do that and see if we can't get lucky and stumble upon a bedded buck or just glass one up or something. Good afternoon. I took another awesome nap and now it's back to the same deal. Hopefully it's a lot more exciting tonight. Hopefully we can glass up a big boy. Really wanting Biggie Smalls. That's a dream deer of mine. Like that's why I'm putting all this work in just for that deer. So once again, getting everything loaded down. My prime is ready to eat. He freaking it's hungry. It's time to eat. Fling some arrows, hopefully get it down. But my buddy Tagan's headed up, probably about right now. He's on probably a ranger ride, which takes about two hours, so it's a, it's a jaunt. And then about a two hour hike. Be here in a while. I'm just gonna head glassing. It's about close to four o'clock. Gives me plenty of time to glass up a deer. First spot produced, nothing. Now we're just gonna head on this backside where I've been seeing all these big deer and fingers crossed they're back in here. If not, it's gonna suck just glassing for four hours straight for nothing. So hopefully we see something. Just keep us motivated and keep us grinding. Either way, we'll find them eventually. Pretty decent night. Saw two bucks and about 25 head of elk. It's only August 25th and bulls are freaking starting to bugle down here. That's pretty damn crazy. As far as I know, I think Tegan, he's glassing a different basin. He only saw a little two point and some does and everything. But we're headed back to camp. Go get us some peak refuel meals and then go to bed and just start over once again. Well, I'm up here with Tegan and we're about to grub some peaks, like I said. And I only had one like spoon slash fork. This was just one thing, as you can tell. So we just cut in half and then made two out of it. I mean, does it get any freaking better than that? We're smart, huh? Find out. We're finna be smart, unless it breaks and we gotta redo it, but. I'm eating the beef pasta marina. I don't know, beef pasta. And then he's eating the chicken alfredo pasta. So should be pretty bussin'. I've ate that one, that one's good. Not good on your guts, but everything else is pretty good. Come out. 
I knew if I stuck with it, I'd find a big one. I just found a freaking big four point I call split ear because he has a big split ear. I've been watching this buck all summer. He's a big buck, 170s, maybe bigger. But I think the way he's headed, he's gonna bed in a freaking perfect spot and I'll be able to make a play on him today. He's with one other buck, just a big three by two that I've been watching in this basin a lot too. So I'm freaking shivering, gosh, I'm cold. Dagan made it over here from Glasson. me but also look oh, shit. he was a 60 I was aimed perfect shot it right behind the like right in the flank but there is freaking blood all through here I mean look at this 
Look at that. What have I hit? Please. Please, Lord, let this. Let this kill this deer. I hate doing archery just for this. You can practice all your freaking all year. And then something like this happens. I just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys I'm sorry because I just hate that. I'm 18 years old trying to freaking do what a lot of 30 year olds can't. And being so young, I always have a lot of people tell me that there's no point to even try to kill a deer. And obviously I've been trying my ass off all freaking year. I've been grinding, scouting, trail cams, everything. And just for one moment, and I hope I didn't blow that freaking moment. This is such an amazing deer. I call him split ear. I've hunted him a lot. I've hunted him three years in a row. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure me and my buddy Birch tried killing this buck, and unfortunately he passed away this last year, and I was mainly dedicating this bow hunt for him. The orange bracelet on my bow is for Birch, and I was just hoping that I could get it done for him because he's never gotten a high country mule deer with his bow, and I know it was a huge priority for him to do that, and he just didn't quite live long enough to do it. So as rough as that sounds, it's freaking true. But I made it back to my boots. I got a little climb back to my backpack and then we're gonna give it some time. And I'm just praying, I'm just praying that he's dead and we can find him. Cause I just, gosh, I saw a lot of blood and I'll show you guys. Like, I don't know how, I don't know if I hit an artery or, and got lucky but if I got lucky, I sure freaking owe, I owe everything to Tegan and his dad. They helped me glass and Tegan guided me into this deer. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't kill him. I just, I owe everything to everything, guys. I just, I hope he's dead. found my arrow and there's freaking nothing for penetration. But I might have got lucky because there's quite a bit of blood this whole time. And then it gets to like gallons right over here. Look at this crap. He goes, yeah. Well, I hit him on my third shot. It looks like, I don't know how good, freak. But I hit him, so now he goes up here. Guys, I just want to give a shout out to freaking Tegan because he is the reason I killed this deer. We freaking found it, he found it. He's big, dude, huh? <laughs> He's big. He died in a shithole. All right, let's walk over. Here, this is what it looks like first. Zoom that one. Oh my god, dude. Let's go this way. Oh my gosh, man. Dude, that's a big deer. Holy. Dude, he is pretty. I want to know where I hit him. I don't think I... Guys, I don't even know how to feel because it feels like I did not think I was going to find him. And then Tegan just kept looking down. Dude, I don't even know. Alright. <laughs> Dude. That's a freaking monster. Dude, this is not, this is not real. Look at that deer, guys. That is why all the hard work I put in this year. The buck I call Split Ear. I've hunted him last year. He was with the buck I killed. Just look at him. Jeez. Dude, I can't believe this. That's so sweet. I just want to give a shout out to Tegan once again. Like, if it wasn't for him, there's no way I would have killed him. He freaking guided me in and everything. It's just... Dude. Put your hand around that base. Holy crap. Come a little closer so you can tell. Look at that base, guys. Jeez. Oh my gosh, man. I don't so even know sick. what to think. I've just put in so much hard work this year, and then to finally have it come together. I set trail cams in May. This is the first buck in the basin that I got pictures of. In the snow. This, these high country deer are gnarly, but I just don't even know. And now it's going to be a horrible pack out. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be a horrible pack out.
as you can tell behind us, got the big boy caped out. I think I'm gonna mount him just because of the story. He's got a freaking big old split ear, so adds to the story. Sun is going down. Got two fronts and a back strap, and then Tegan's being a homie, two backs and a back strap. But then I got the cape and head, so they probably equal out about the same. Thanks again to Tegan. Super fun. Now hopefully we can come back up in the next frick. It might take us a week to recover. <laughs> and then kill him a big deer up here too so and we've probably kind of spooked it pretty decent about a week i bet by next weekend the bucks will be back no it's really not that bad not bad right now but going up a hill ain't gonna be fun This ain't gonna be fun, guys, but it'll be worth it in the end, it always is. I'm getting tired. Taking back there is getting tired, but still just grinding in, grinding away. We're almost to the camp. Then we can take a break and get some water. So, got a long ways on the fridge though. Finally made it to camp. Just right down there. So let's get us some water and then head back down. Well, I wanted to, I wanted to close out the video. Made it to camp. Luckily, I only have to grab my spotting scope, but look at Tegan's good load. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna get something messed up. Oh, my feet <laughs> freaking hurt. They're real, they're really rough. But I just want to close out the video. I appreciate Tegan's help. Hopefully, we can get him a good buck here soon, or probably not soon. Probably next weekend by the time we're feeling better. But awesome way to end the hunt. A lot of hard work and a lot of freaking days in the field scouting setting trail cams in may and then just a lot of work put into that but couldn't have happened any better way honestly super happy super thankful he's a beautiful deer exactly what i wanted he's big hopefully you guys enjoyed the story on the bucket call split ear he's just a beautiful buck so i'll catch you guys on the next video please comment if you enjoyed and yeah we'll see you later thanks for watching